All right, let's uh, imagine an example we're dealing with kids who are older. Uh, really, I think a clear example for kids when they're in their middle teen years, most if not all of them are highly motivated to get their driver's license, uh, but they're recognizing that this is a very complicated uh, set of endeavors that they're, uh, uh, they're, they're embarking upon. Uh, they're not simply just the mechanical issues of learning how to drive uh, a piece of uh, potentially dangerous equipment safely. Uh, the students are also having to learn the rules of the road and all of the civility issues that are important there. There are also all sorts of physics uh, issues. Uh, how does a car work? There are also uh, mechanical issues, lots of uh, electronic issues, lots of chemistry issues. So all sorts of physics lessons, chemistry lessons, and electronic lessons can be folded into this. And there are lots of economics issues that can, uh, can be, uh, and budgeting types of issues that can be folded into all of these things. How much does it cost actually to operate uh, a car over the course of an average year? If you drive this many miles and you have a vehicle that gets this kind of gas mileage, do the calculation, this is how many gallons of gasoline one is going to need, and here much is how much one can expect gasoline to cost. Here's what your automobile insurance is likely to cost. Here's what uh, basic uh, maintenance is going to cost and so we can uh, learn all of the spreadsheeting and budgeting techniques and so forth. So again, what we have is students who are interested and motivated to learn something, but it's something that we can fold in and integrate lots of physics lessons, lots of science lessons, lots of engineering lessons, lots of uh, economics lessons and so forth, all into, into a package that the student should be able to find enjoyable. Another example that uh, I believe most realists would sign on to and say it's a perfectly good example of integrating theory and practice, integrating pleasure with education, it, and I'll choose a more artistic example here, is theater. Uh, if you think about theater as a vehicle, uh, theater is a beautiful integration of so many different things uh, uh, if, a, if, if a theatrical production is going to be pulled off. Certainly uh, a big part of uh, theater and the, the attraction of theater is reading the script and learning the script. Uh, it's a form of literature, which means it has lots of characters engaged in uh, various kinds of activities and collisions. There can be good versus evil. There can be exp explorations of lots of uh, character thematic issues as well. The whole human dynamic can be played out on the stage. It also gives students in their teen years when they are experimenting themselves with personality styles and character st styles and deciding who they want to be as adults, a chance to explore uh, uh, in a, in, in a, in a, in a semi-realistic but nonetheless uh, uh, um, imaginary context what it's like to be in a certain kind of character involved in certain kinds of dynamics. So for all of the reasons that literature can be a valuable uh, uh, form of art, theater can be a, a valuable form of art, plus it also has that ex existential acting component that, uh, that, that, that is valuable as well. Theater also, though, is very social, uh, and so there are lots of social dynamics that can be folded into, uh, particularly uh, there are issues of as the deadline gets, uh, gets nearer, the pressure is on, people are up against the deadline, people are under stress, how does one learn to work with other people uh, under situations of social stress and with looming deadlines, enormous character uh, values that can be uh, 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 learned in that particular case. There are lots of technical issues that arise in the context of, uh, of theater. Uh, one uh, designs a set and builds a set. Lots of design issues that brings in all of the visual arts and, uh, and those uh, skills there. There's the issue of building the sets, which involves uh, carpentry skills, painting the sets, which involves another set of, of skills there, and again, integrates the arts as well. There's all of the, the lighting and the electronics, which involves electricity. Uh, there's the whole uh, realm of sound, which again involves physics and electronics as well. So for all sorts of reasons, the, the, uh, the theater world is a beautiful thing. It integrates the sciences with technology, with the arts, with the humanities. It's not simply theoretical, it's also practical, and it, it involves uh, individual and social interaction. So it's a beautiful integration of all of the elements of, 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 of a, a curriculum uh, in, in a way that is, again, pleasurable for students to partake in. All right, so those are three examples. Uh, children learning mathematics, perhaps in the context of figuring out who's going to win the pennant in baseball. 
BMX bikes uh, and the physics and mathematics there, and then theater for the older children. All three of those examples for the realists, I think, are good examples of theory and practice and education being enjoyable.